I say we all grew up in different places, you know, that shares a lot of different cultural bases and that could share cultural bases. But a term that I heard a lot growing up was ghetto. And when you moved from a Pacific culture that you were uh, used to live into, you might find yourself, you know, different from another culture. And that can be within the same area where you live. You know, it's a lot different on the other side of the tracks is what I used to be told growing up. And... I can see when I moved into an area where there was predominantly more European people that, you know, they would use the term ghetto, you know, um, why do you wear your pants like that? Why is, what does your clothes look like that? Or, you know, I, we just had a different type of style, just, you know, I just had a different type of style, different type of look, you know, and I even talk different, you know, kids, you know, tried to correct me of my voice, um, you know, how I spoke um, and, you know, such things I was like, like that or just how I looked you know I looked different from a lot I stood out amongst everybody else because they didn't look like me and they didn't come from where I came from so today I'm going to touch up on the term called ghetto and a little bit of a psychology behind the word ghetto and why they associated with black or brown people and you know just gonna get into it (laughs) Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the TA show. I know you guys missed me. (laughs) Well, we're going to say that for later. Anyways, I was just going through a phase at work today and I was just thinking like, huh, you know, you know, why did they always associate me with that word? Or why did they always associate the people that look like me the most with this word? And that term goes with ghetto. It was just like everybody that was in my culture was associated with that word. As far as the activities that we involved ourselves in, our names, our clothing, how we ate, and and just how our appearance was. Um, It it became very, you know, repetitive of, you know, you know, obviously, you know, government name is Tavarian. So, like, when I moved to, you know, across the tracks when I was little, as you called it, suburb from Chicago to the suburbs of Chicago, it was a little different because the kids, you know, they wasn't, you know, used to, you know, hearing names like that. They wasn't, wasn't used to, you know, seeing a kid, you know, dressed like the way I did or, you know, just the way I talked was differently from them. You know, just the lingo was all different. It was something they couldn't quite understand, but it was interesting to them because they always made an announcement of how you wore your pants or how you rose your R's or, you know, what type of food you ate, you know. And it became very, like, stereotypical over the course of the years of, you know, what type of person, you know, a black or brown persuasion, you know, have on a daily basis. And I just wanted to get into a little bit of psychology of that, of why, you know, European people or the other persuasion, you know, think that because there is something that is different about all of us. And that's the melatonin that we have in our bodies. It's a little bit more... You know, it's a different type of energy that we, you know, us black and brown people, you know, up, obtain from the Caucasian persuasion. And I don't mean to say that in any racist term of function, you know, um, with all the colors. But, you know, this is just a topic that popped in my head that I wanted to speak about in general. So that has. So the reason why we look different or talk different and they use this term ghetto or, you know, the stuff we do ghetto it's just different because we hold a different, it's a different psychology to it. Like as far as like, you know, what our body, you know, what type of minerals we hold inside and what type of energy we release. We have, we actually have a different melatonin from um, European people. European people actually melatonin and their body is more calcium fired. That's why you see the pigment on their skin a little bit, way pale or what you want to call it, pale or white or a lighter than ours. Um, so, you know, that gets into it that we release a different type of energy, the way we talk, the way we walk, you know, how we name our kids, you know, our daily activity. That's literally what a lot of people don't understand is like the biology of it. Like we have a different melatonin. That's why and the reason why it stands out to those uh, stands out to a lot of people of the other persuasion is because that, you know, we make you know, the things we do, we make arrogancy about it. You know, it comes kind of natural. Even, you know, our physical abilities are a little bit different from, 
you know, you ever heard of the term, you know, white man can't jump because we have a different melatonin in our bodies that allow us to do different capabilities and abilities to have sometimes. Um, same with the, you know, same with the European culture, you know, we, I see it, I see a different, I see the difference in our melatonin from theirs sometimes. Um, and a lot of you probably viewers are like, oh, you know, somebody can grow up in, you know, the same, you know, European person can grow up in the same, but they have to adapt to the qualities that we have, which is, which that is the different type of energy. They adapt to our energy after a while. So that's literally where that ghetto, that's literally like a little bit of psychology behind of, you know, where that ghetto term comes from because we do you know, place ourselves differently in this world. And I, I mean us by black and brown people because we hold a different type of energy, you know, that makes us move different. That makes us have rhythm, you know, <laughs> you know, just things like that. You know, it's just, it's just a different culture that, you know, that we just have a different type of power. Um, um, and until people get used to that or, you know, just come accustomed to it that, you know, we're a little bit different. I mean, we already kind of start off different by, you know, the way our skin looks. Um, so that was just a little, you know, random thought I had. I just wanted to, you know, see what people thought about that, you know, see if, see if people were even up on, you know, melatonin, you know, because that, that is a real thing. Um, something that we all have inside of our bodies that give us different capabilities of, you know, how our life pans out. I just wanted to touch up on the word, the ghetto word. And, you know, why, you know, why that, you know, why that word is put into place because, you know, we're different. We hold a different type of energy that displays us in a different way. Like I said, the way we talk, you know, they might say, you know, we use a lot of slang or we talk ghetto because <laughs> we don't use the full word. You know, we come up with our own, you know lingo and people come to adapt to that and they use these words you know nowadays you hear it all the time you know most of the time that probably came from you know somebody from my culture or you know somebody that was around the culture but it you know that's pretty much it you know just wanted to touch up on that just get you know my viewers thinking about you know just different things so i hope you enjoy the show thanks